Hello, my name is Michael Ring. I'm a coastal landscape photographer from Edgewater, Florida. Today I'm going to be heading to the Sugar Mill Ruins in New Severna Beach. It's located at 600 Old Mission Road. It is a 17 acre historic site of a sugar mill ruin that was built in the early 19th century. It has beautiful architecture and it even has the pots that the sugar cane syrup was boiled in to make molasses and most of that was probably made to make rum. So join me today on our little adventure. Thank you for coming to my channel. In 1830, a steam-operated sugarcane mill and a sawmill were erected at this site. The mill's masonry buildings were constructed of lupina, a sedimentary rock composed of fossilized tiny mollusk shells quarried nearby. The structures include a crushing house with a chimney and large arched doors and window openings which contained the steam-driven grinding machinery that extracted the juice from the sugar cane. The entire process was carried out using slave labor and draft animals under the management of the plantation overseer, John White Sheldon. On Christmas Day in 1835, the mills and other buildings were destroyed by Native Americans during the Second Seminole War. Only the walls were left standing, with the machinery inside them made by the West Point Foundry of Cold Spring, New York, mostly undamaged. 